So Lee, that's a magic away day performance, isn't it? 2-1 against Merthyr, no Joe White, had to get a keeper in at short notice. How are you feeling? It's been a mad week um, and, and I'm so proud of the players of how they've just performed there. You know, we've lost Joe for probably another 10, two, 10 days, two weeks. I lost Liam Brooks at three this morning. I uh, was taken to hospital, hopefully he's all okay, uh, but he's not been well. And, uh, and as I say, I had a conversation with Haf on Thursday who needs to take a break from the game. And I think you've seen how hard yourself, Cyrus, yourself and Dad have worked in terms of, I think Dad must have spoke to seven pro clubs. And big thank you to Dean Brennan, but Amen's a keeper I've admired for a long time and um, someone that I've, I've kept an eye on. And I remember having a conversation with him last year that I likened him to Riyadh. And I think we've seen today, he's outstanding, the kid. Absolutely outstanding. But what a performance you had to weather. Big storms. If, if Murphy don't get in the playoffs this year, which at the moment, you know, we probably haven't got enough games, I'll tell you, no, they'll be up there next year. They'll be in the top five next year. They are a very, very good side. Paul's created a, a very good side. But I said to him there after, look, we have to take that. It might have been a bit scrappy and we've had to weather a few storms. But it was just a great performance and, you know, change of shape worked. We've then reverted back to what we know. And um, listen, we've, we've, we've scored with a big man again. How pleasing was it to. Uh because we got the early goal conceded within a couple of minutes again same old story how how nice is it to get that late goal going on our, our way for the change it, it's happened to us a lot hasn't it yeah, you know and it. it's been on the other hand and then emotions are spilled over at the end and i, and I apologize for that to, to to murpha but you know it's, it happened to us so much and, and i said to him if you keep going and keep believing you will get that feeling soon and, and it's happened today fortunate and you know, it's happened against us last week and, and against Swindon and, you know, we could sit on in more points really, but to, to have it and the way we've defended the last five, six minutes there, a bit of an onslaught, we've even thrown Guri up front, you know, yeah. it's unheard of really, <laughs> And uh, but the big man's run around and, you know, it was just um, a, a, an all-round perfect away day performance, it wasn't pretty at times, I'm not going to sit here and say we were unbelievable because we wasn't, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to take nothing away, Murphy are very, very good, but... I just felt that you know they, they were still hoping to get in them playoffs, and if they go and win seven or eight in a row, football's a funny game. Yeah. They could sneak in there, so I had a feeling that they'd throw bodies forward, and we could try and hit them on the counter late on. And, and it's worked for us, thankfully. But you know, listen, we can't rest on on just this today. We need to keep going now and keep moving forward, and and keep taking these games as they come, and keep winning and keep putting points on the board because it's really important to us and the football club that we try and stay in this league. How important is it now that we've got we've got everything in our own hands? I think we've got a three-point gap now between us and Harrow. So it, obviously, you know that can turn, turn around next week. But but it's all in our own hands. Is it more important? It's any question for us, but it's in our own destiny. Is in our own hands rather than we're chasing it. Yeah, I think I think like anything, you know, you have to just take one game at a time uh, as they come. Each game's going to be difficult. Each game's going to be different, and, and we have to just focus on us. We can't focus on what other teams do around us. We can't focus on on the other sides, we have to focus solely on Hendon Football Club. Yeah. I think we've seen since Winchester, the performances from the players have been outstanding. Let's take a little bit of time for Leo and Tom Jackson as sure, well, yeah. how good they've been. They've been outstanding. Tom's a, a young lad playing at this level and, and he's getting better and better. The two centre-halves, Dan Matsiaka, has been, has been great, David Dehaju. Uh, and, and, and the left backs made such a difference, you know, Lucas Perry and um, Josh has, has fitted in brilliantly. So I can go through the whole team, but I think as well, Frank Cater, Gio, and Riddell Gordon today, what a shift they've put in. Riddell was his best performance. And, and, a, big, <laughs> and a, big, a big mention to them, to, well, I think we've had 50 supporters yeah, here today. Great turnout, that, wasn't it? that was incredible, you know, I say it was emotional at the end there because that was incredible support. Yeah, Must yeah. be 50 behind the goal. And, They've been brilliant, you know, great support, but we can't stop. I still need them, I still need us pushing us, I still need them getting behind us. But once have they turned on us, and uh, they've just got to keep pushing us now because this ain't over. This is not, we're not safe, we're not done, we're not where we need to be. We have to keep driving forward, but it's a nice step towards where we want to go. And um, as I say, that was, a, that was a fantastic result today against a very, very good Murphy side who... Um, as I say to you, if they don't do it this year, I'm telling you now, they'll be, they'll be very good next year. Paul done a great job at Yate last year, he's done exactly the same here. And um, yeah, that's a, that's a great three points. Enjoy the night, Well done, thank you.